Hello world, it's Polish Prima Donna coming to you today with another video. Um, this video is the um, ins and outs of the Michael Kors um, large Sutton satchel in Saffiano leather. Um, I've been recently on the injured reserve list. Um, for those of you who do not know me personally, uh, I broke my foot. They should have named me Grace. <laughs> I am not graceful. Um, so, backstory. Uh, the night before Mother's Day, I went to the American Airlines Arena um, where the Miami Heat play and went to go see Kevin Hart, the What Now Tour. I lived. It was really, really good. He's amazing as always. Um, and I was dressed for the gods, um, had on the most amazing six and a half inch heels. Um, and there was a sewer grate at the bottom of the stairs as we were leaving. Um, my heel went into the grate, long story short. Um, I didn't know my foot was broken. I walked to the car, we stayed in Miami. Um, Woke up the next morning, my foot was swollen, couldn't put any weight on it whatsoever. So we're driving home. Um, it's Mother's Day. And what is awaiting me? But my Michael Kors Sutton Satchel in Safiano Leather. Um, and I was so excited before I went to the emergency room. I transferred all my stuff into the bag. <laughs> What can I say? I'm a bad girl. I just, I am, I always have been, I always will be. So let's get into the bag. But I just wanted to give you that backstory on me. So this is the duster that it comes in. Um, just simple and well stated. It is semi satin feel to it. Um, silver foiled Michael Kors across the front. Um, this is the large. Um, duster because it's a it's a large bag I try to get you know the largest bags um, if at all possible um, so I got it in dark khaki uh, and this is what she looks like she is a beaut this is the front side, back, and bottom. So it has four and a half inch top handles. The shoulder strap, which I shout out to Michael Kors because in this most traumatic time of being one-legged, um, I needed to make this bag, which is not a small bag by any stretch of the imagination. I needed the dimensions of it are 14 by 10 by 5. So, and it is adjustable, um, FYI. So, if you wanted to open these little snaps on the side, you can expand the size of the bag. Um, sometimes, because I, you know, have my bags bursting at the seams, um, they'll just pop open need be I close it or I'd leave it depending on what caused it to you know pop open but this um, shoulder strap is adjustable from 20 to 22 inches and I needed to make this a crossbody because I was on crutches for three weeks I didn't wear the bag all three weeks probably a week and a half um, and I had to put it over my head and over um, under one arm and throw it behind me so that I can use both hands for my metal crutches. So it withstood having to go through or endure that for a week and a half or so. Um, I have worn it since I've been off the crutches. I'm in an air cast now, um, so my hands are free. I, um, I wear it. I like the color. It's a neutral color. I'm trying to get out of neutral, but, you know, some habits are hard to break. But um, 
It has simple micro cores in the front. Doesn't have the lock. I love the lock. Love, love, love the lock. Um, but it does have this very ostentatious big, if you can see how big this um, micro cores emblem is. Um, my watch face. Let me see if I can compare it. My watch face. This is the iGucci watch. I don't know. 32 inches 32 millimeters and just compare the size of the watch and the emblem you see it so the bag is good it has the gold tone hardware um it has studded feet of course it has the um snap closure along with two zippered compartments so it's like um it has three compartments if you don't like that type of bag you may want to try the selma the michael kors selma bag um which is comparable to this bag but if you like to have um compartments in your bag um this is good this is what it looks like when it's all closed up um, those are the two zippered compartments and then the center compartment is the snap closure. So when you open that up, you see the two front pockets um, that you can slide thing in and then there's two back pockets. There's also um, the key fob for your keys um, and there's also a back zip um, compartment. What is that? Oh, uh, um, I guess that's the card that you get with the bag. Um, I usually throw those out. Uh, I wouldn't play on YouTube and do a whole um, walkthrough of a bag and it'd be a knockoff. So I'm not going to go through the authenticity of my bags because... Like I said before, I'm a bad girl, so I'm not even gonna do that. Um, we're not, we're not gonna try it this evening. Um, the front compartment, like it's big enough to hold papers or iPads or something that you want to be more secure, checkbooks or something like that. The back compartment um, is actually where I keep my wallet for it. Um, I have a thing about the wallet matching the bag, I don't know. Um, but I have the matching wallet. It's the zip around Safiano Leathers zip around Jet Set zip around wallet. Um, it is empty, but this is what it looks like. Uh, it has um, in the middle a zippered compartment for coin. It has the little Michael Kors emblem right here, um, opposite the emblem on the outside of it. It has a little pocket for papers, and then it has six card slots. Another area that you can keep um, currency in front of the coin area, another area for currency, paperwork, whatever. Um, six more card slots and another um, area for paperwork or what have you so zip around wallet um i store them with the bag um I, I do like this bag i when i wear it at its full capacity i don't find myself um when i drive and it's in the front seat i didn't find things falling out of it um I didn't have trouble looking for things. I just had to remember which one was the front zippered and which one was the back because that's where I kept my wallet. Um, that's just observation, you know, when you're, you know, just snapping one open really quick. Um, other than that, I would, um, I'd purchase, I would repurchase this. Um, even though I didn't purchase it, it was a gift. Um, but I would repurchase it. I would buy it in a different color. I'd keep this one and buy it in a different color. Um, it was worth the buy. It's worth the $368 that it costs. Um, I'd say go for it. Um, shout out to Michael Kors. 
another great job. Um, anything I would change about the bag? I would make the top handles slightly bigger, not by much. Um, just enough that if I had the opportunity, only because I was on crutches and there was a need for me, if I could have alternated while I was sitting or something like that, that I could have threw it on my shoulder with the top handles, I would have loved to have done that. Um, other than that, I wouldn't change a thing about this bag. It served its purpose. It worked well with what I had going on. And I just wanted to show you this beautiful Michael Kors bag. Again, the color is dark khaki. This is Saffiano leather and it's the large Sutton. So a thumbs up this video. Um, I'll have another video for you. I'm going to do another review of another Michael Kors bag. But um, I approve. And blessings to all near and far. And uh, take care and I'll see you soon.